so today's video is gonna be on the days of the week if you follow me on tiktok you've seen that i recently posted about like jupiter day and had someone comment like oh i didn't know that was a thing so now i feel like i should just share the rest of the days of the week with you guys so with that being said each day holds its own energy that's based off its ruling planet which makes doing activities that correspond or align with that day easier so if you didn't know the week starts at sunday i used to think it was monday but after hearing that song i don't know you guys know what song i'm talking about sunday monday tuesday that song yeah that song i used to be like well i actually started with sunday the week starts with monday but when i started getting to the astrology and stuff like that the week starts on sunday so with that now i'm going to explain which days of the week and planets correspond so let me begin sunday corresponds to the sun the sun is sunday's ruling planet monday moon Tuesday, Mars, Wednesday, Mercury, Thursday, Jupiter, Friday, Venus, Saturday, Saturn, the ruling planets. Those are the ruling planets. Sometimes my mind be going blank mid-conversation and that's exactly what happened in this moment. So let's start with Sunday. Sunday has to do with goals and wellness. This includes professional partnerships, career advancements, producing crops, mental and physical health, entertainment, and things of that nature. So if you were thinking about like furthering your education or like taking your career to the next level, then this would be a good day to do so because of the sun. Sun has to do with, think of the sun as shine. So you want to shine in your health, in your career, of course. So the energy of the sun would be, it just benefits you in that aspect. I also forgot to include that you can invest. Like this is a good day to invest if that's what you are interested in the sun shines you want to be healthy and the best in your career or finances so the energy of the sun just helps you okay now let's go to monday monday has to do with things that are stereotypically dealing with women so home family cooking gardening nurturing beauty spiritual growth if you're into cooking or like culinary this would be a good day to like focus on that aspect of you um divination tarot anything having to do with spiritual growth it's good to work on it with mondays because the moon the moon has to deal with your emotions and just the energy of the moon on monday it helps with growing your intuition so yeah if you're interested in growing your spiritual awareness and everything monday it's a good day for that Okay, so let's get on to Tuesday. Tuesday has to do with things of masculine nature. So getting in shape, endurance, um, anything that you're passionate or like sexual about, it's enhanced on Tuesdays. And I look out, Tuesday I call it angry day because if someone's like coming at you crazy on Tuesday, just think of it as the passionate Mars energy. I don't take it personal, I used to. But like, if you really notice a lot of arguments, miscommunications, just people being like aggressive, it happens on Tuesdays. So look out for that now that I said that, you'll see. Tuesday is also a good day to have surgeries and take tests on and anything dealing with the law and the military is enhanced. So with that being said, I feel like using the energy of Tuesday, if you're passionate or angry about something or want to get into shape, do it on Tuesday. It makes it easier or it just enhances what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so now on a Wednesday, that's my day of the week. But let's talk about Wednesday. Wednesday is a good day to do arts, communication. So if you've been stalling about like sending a text back or email, calling a family member, scheduling something, do it on Wednesday because the energy of Mercury just pushes you it makes communicating way easier and as someone who has anxiety i do a lot i accomplish a lot on wednesdays i don't know it just makes it easier like for real since wednesday is midweek you can take this time to see if you're moving forward or backwards either way it goes wednesday is associated with healing so do things of that nature art is healing communicating is healing so that's why it corresponds with the energy of mercury now it's time for Thursday. Thursday has to do with luck. So gambling, socializing, doing things of foreign interests is enhanced or easier to accomplish 
on Thursdays. It's good to schedule appointments with doctors, lawyers, counselors, psychologists on Thursday because the energy of Jupiter allows you to grow mentally and spiritually. Sports competitions and research are good to do on Thursdays as well. So for you modes that be playing that game or betting on that app, I don't know what it's called, don't shoot me, but um, that thing, y'all should do it on Thursdays because Thursdays has to do with gambling and sports for your game. Thursdays also have to do with wealth and money matters. So if you're hoping to get rewarded for something or recognition, set the intention on Thursday because it'll help you. Okay, so now on a Friday. Friday has, is associated with Venus. Venus is the planet of love. So things dealing with friends, relationships, pleasure, dating, love. Anything dealing with love, it's good to, you know, focus on. Just like Wednesday, Friday is a day of expression. So things dealing with fashion, arts, entertainment, social, it's good. Partying is good on Fridays. Whether you take the time to chill or party, both are healing and the energy of Friday allows you to obtain that. So you don't have to party if you're not a partier on Fridays. You can still benefit from chilling because it's still you're still doing something that you love. And so yeah, like I said, fashion, music, entertainment anything having to do with something that you're passionate about it could be materialistic too like you don't have to be embarrassed about being materialistic on venus day friday the energy of friday is also good for spelling so spelling is just something that you're setting the intention of concentrating your energy on so it doesn't have to be like negative or anything it's just you focusing your intention and you know so yeah, Friday has to do with love and healing. So if you had a stressful week or just want to be loving, you know, do that. Music. I love music. So if you like music, you can enjoy music really on Fridays. I feel like that's probably why a lot of artists be dropping on Thursday night, Friday. Well, just rappers probably. I don't know. I listen to all genres, but like a lot of the my main genres kind of rap or whatever. So like... I know this artist be dropping on Thursday night, aka Friday, probably. Okay, now on to Saturday. Saturday has to do with death, not physical, but like death of things that no longer serve you, people too. But Saturn has to do with Saturday. Saturn, um, I just think of karma. So like karma, death, I don't know. Could it just be me? But it gives you a boost to banish things. So if you want something that's out of your life or just doesn't serve you um you need to get rid of a habit habit person just anything that's just not good kill it on saturday metaphorically so yeah with death comes transformation so saturday is good for cleaning spiritual cleaning sweep away all the dead weight things that's no longer serving your purpose so you can, you know, start your week fresh on Sunday and shine. <laughs> Based off your sun sign, I'm going to tell you, like, what your day of the week would be. Sunday is for Leo. Monday is for Cancer. Tuesday is for Aries Scorpio. Wednesday is for Virgo Gemini. Thursday is for Sagittarius Pisces. Friday is for Taurus and Libra. And Saturday is for Aquarius and Capricorn. So you're probably like, what do you mean, what's my day of the week? Oh. Using myself for an example, since I'm a Virgo sun, Wednesday is my day of the week based off my sun sign. So things having to do with arts, communicating, I thrive in that. So let's just pretend I was like a cancer sun. Then on Monday, you should probably try some gardening, things to do with beauty, cook for yourself, and then just watch how pleasurable doing activities that align with that day become when you do them on that day. So I'm gonna use an example based off my houses. My sixth house, your sixth house is routines. On Sundays, I like to think since that's the beginning of the week and I have Virgo, my sun, I have my sun and my Mars in my sixth house, which is Leo. I like to plan my week on Sundays because that's where my routine is and my son is in my sixth house which has to do with routine so planning how my week is gonna go my content 
things I need to accomplish, upcoming jobs for my business, anything. I do them on Sundays because it just makes it, it flows easier. That has to do with finances, my health, anything. I do them on Sundays because that's Let me give an example of another placement. Since I'm an Aries rising, I like to work out on Tuesdays because Tuesdays has to do with physical endurance and Mars. It makes working out way more pleasurable because I like working out, but come on, it's working out. But it's way more easier to like, I really, really enjoy working out on Tuesdays because my placement being Aries. Another example would be how I play scratchers on Thursday. I'm a Pisces moon and then Jupiter has to do with Thursday. So I don't know, maybe just since I'm a Pisces moon, I just feel like, ooh, maybe I should go play. Like my luck is just enhanced because it's on Thursday. So yeah, you may also utilize the moon phases and the days of the week to just create a, it makes things so easier. Okay, so for example, right now, the moon is waning in Libra. Libra has to do with Venus. Venus is associated with love, health, and beauty. So let me give an example. I, my Mercury is in Libra. I'm making this video because, you know, I love helping people. I love healing people. And Libra has to do with communication. So for me to shoot this video today, it's just easier for me to get my words out because my Mercury is in Libra and the moon's in Libra. Waning is associated with releasing stuff that like doesn't serve you, but that's not the case for me. I'm just releasing information. I'm not releasing like nothing. I'm not having to shed anything negative. So it's really all about how you look at things. Different moon phases obviously attract different outcomes. Like if it was a full moon in Virgo, I'd probably be wanting to clean and just organize. <laughs> like, I don't know, that was a bad example, but like days of the weeks, moon phases, once you learn how to utilize them, watch how free flowing your life becomes. I know for sure once I was able to correspond them and make it work, it's literally just been up from there. So, so to like wrap it all up, you can start by using your sun sign in your day of the week and just doing like minor tasks on that day or just accomplishing. You also can just use the days of the week, period. You don't have to correspond it to your placements either. So if you want to cook on Mondays, if you want to work out on Tuesdays, go for it. I was just bringing up sun signs because, you know, that's easy to just focus on that one. But if you feel like you can just use all the days without having it aligning like with your placements, go for it because it's fun either way i do it all the time so for sure you can do that and just know if you ever have any questions you can always dm me book a general guidance appointment anything and i got you it's good to dm me on instagram other platforms i'm most likely not gonna reply because i don't be checking thanks for watching make sure you shop my valentine's today so 40 percent off all rose quartz products and i have 50 percent off chakra interpretations until march 1st make sure to like and subscribe